Hey, DVR Tech here with an unboxing video of the Edge Router 4. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, why I'm getting the Edge Router 4. As you can see, I have quite a few uh, Ubiquiti products. I started out with a couple of APs, and then I made my way over to getting um, switching and the security gateway. So the Unify line is really good at providing you a single pane of glass, a single controller interface to manage your hardwired devices, your wireless devices, and uh, your firewall. I really like it, but the USG really does leave a little to be desired in its um, feature completeness in the web GUI. It's the best way to put it. There's a lot of stuff this little box can do. It's basically built on the same OS as this box. The problem is this uses the Unify interface, which, like I said, is great. It uh, really brings everything together in a single pane of glass. You'd really love that if really you weren't trying to do anything too complicated. So it worked great with just a dynamic IP and and occasionally I do a WAN failover and it would work for all that. Now the issue is I got static IPs and I can only map one IP to the WAN of this unit. Um, it doesn't have the ability to set up port forwards in the web GUI from multiple WAN IPs to different internal devices. Uh, so that's the primary reason I'm moving over to the edge router. Now the Edge Router 4 is a great product in its flexibility, its GUI is far more advanced than the USG and it provides a lot more uh, functionality that you get into from there without having to do some sort of workaround. So let's unbox this and uh, see what's in the box. So we can see that it has three Ethernet ports on the front of it, plus an SFP slot um, that will allow you to put a fiber transceiver or um, I guess a Ethernet transceiver as well if you really wanted to go that route. It has a console port and a USB 3 port. All of them uh, appear to support gig and a standard power connector on the back. I really appreciate that. I run uh, 240 inside of my office and all my equipment runs off of 240 UPS. So this is very helpful. Let's take a quick look at the back. Um, just shows the model number. Nothing too exciting there. Let's see what else is in the box. So other than that in the box we have some setup instructions. Uh, looks like basically plug in the cable and a compatible fiber SFP module. There you go. Some uh, great instructions there. Do you like that the power cable has the 90 degree on the end of it? It's kind of useful if you're trying to put this close to the wall. And it looks like we have some wall mounting screws. Now I haven't got it yet, but there is a rack mounting kit for this. I'm super excited about that since all my other equipment is rack mounted. Um, so I'll be able to mount this right alongside it all nice and clean. Well, there you have it. Here's my unboxing video of the Edge Router 4. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Thanks.